last week and um, let us turn our attention to Matthew chapter 7, verse number 7. Somebody can read out loudly. Simple passage, Matthew chapter 7, verse number 7 and uh, 8 properly. All right, let me continue that words once again. Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive. The one who seeks, find. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Last week I mentioned, um, during, you know, in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus was, preaching a message of the kingdom of God. At the same time, you know, during his message, he mainly point out the significance of a prayer life. That's what even we see on chapter 6 actually. You know, chapter 6, we see two paragraphs, you know, talks about a prayer life. At the same time, when it comes into chapter 7 again, Jesus is teaching about a prayer life. That means if Jesus taken prayer life seriously, how much we have to take seriously about our, single, our prayer life. Praise the Lord. Because prayer is an essential or it is like an oxygen for the soul of a spiritual man or a spiritual woman. Praise the Lord. It gives a spiritual energy for our destiny. Lord, Lord has given a destiny for each and everyone. You know, destiny means it's not only to reach into the other shores of the eternity or the heaven. Rather, as we are on this world, we all, you know, God has given a purpose. Each and in every individual, those who are seated here with a purpose, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The purpose might be evangelize the Tulsa. The purpose might be evangelize Oklahoma. The purpose might be, might be evangelize, uh, you, know, uh, you know, Arkansas or uh, some other India or 1040 window. You know, we have a different, different assignment in order to fulfill on this world. Praise the Lord. In order to fulfill our assignment on this world. The prayer life is a very essential factor and uh, this is our spiritual energy for our destiny. Hallelujah. This morning, let me continue what we preached from last week. Uh, probably a few words I will, uh, I will uh, probably, I will recap what we studied last week. The two aspects of the prayer life. The three aspects of what we, you know, uh, basically Jesus is teaching over here. At the same time, chapter 6, Jesus was teaching the model of prayer. And uh, chapter, when it comes into chapter 7, Jesus is teaching the three aspects of the prayer life. Or three aspects. The number one aspect, probably you remember the simple one. Uh, what is that? Ask. Praise the Lord. Ask. It shall be given to you. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Praise the Lord. As I already mentioned, you know, ask consists of three uh, major, major things. Number one, you know, desperate need. Desperate need. At the same time, it is always have an attitude of humility. At the same time, we need an unshakable faith. Praise the Lord. When you ask something to Lord in this morning time, as you're seated here, even in this, in this morning time, 10, 10, 30 a.m., you know, when you ask something to God, you need at least three things. Number one, you need to have a desperate need. It is not a simple need. You need to have a desperate need. Praise the Lord. You know, last week I already mentioned, you know, I don't want to go, but at the same time I was thinking myself, you know, in United States of America, the people, you know, this is what I read, I, I learned, you know, up to 1960, up to 1960, 90 percentage of uh, citizens in United States of America, they used to go to churches. But after 1960, because of the, you know, economic uh, freedom uh, that this country experienced, uh, you know, that 
rate of uh, the percentage of uh, you know percentage of uh, uh, you know people go to uh, the churches declined very sharply and we know the current stories even though every nook and corner we have different churches but the most of the churches are very vacant you know few, only few goes but at the same time when it comes uh, into 911 you know this is what i read actually you know when it comes into 911 you know the next you know next week after the 911 you know the research is you know the some you know scholar says even 85 percentage of uh, the citizens of united states when you know return to churches what why there was, there was a threat there was a need praise the lord hallelujah you know sometimes we don't see the need when we leave a, a world like this a rich world like this when we have all the resources with us when we have uh, all the you know blessings and the benefit you know along uh, you know surrounded with us you know sometimes we don't see the need just like the people, those who live on the third world countries. As a result, we forget God. Not only forget God, we forget to pray in the presence of God. But this morning time, as a pastor of this church, let me once again urge you, plead you, that come back into the presence of God with a desperate need. Hallelujah. When you have a desperate need, let me tell you, the Bible says, ask, it shall be given unto you. This is the promise of Jesus that given to every child of God this morning time. Praise the Lord. Ask, it shall be given to you. But at the same time, when it comes into the, into the presence of God, you need to have a posture that is the posture of a humility or a humbleness praise the lord hallelujah the prideful man never prays but at the same time a humble man a humble woman always oh, knelt at the presence of god hallelujah praise the lord also not only that when you when you come into the presence of god remember that he is a promising keeper god even today morning we we sang the song, uh, he's a miracle working God. He's a promising keeping God. This morning time, uh, there are promises, uh, whether uh, your husband or your wife uh, or uh, the people around you cannot fulfill in your life. Uh, but in this morning time, let me tell you, the God who, uh, oh, he can, he is the one who can fulfill the promise of God in your life. Uh, whatever he said to you, that is always yes and amen. That is yes and amen. He will never lie to you. This morning time, let me tell you, hallelujah. He's a promise in keeping God. He will fulfill his promise unto your life. Hallelujah. How many of you believe in this morning time? He is a promise in keeping God. He will answer my prayers. Whatever I pray in this morning, he will answer my prayers. Hallelujah. 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 He will never leave you nor forsake you praise the lord the second aspect what i mentioned this last uh, last week uh, not only asking the second aspect is basically it's mentioned seeking hallelujah seek unto him so that you shall find seeking praise the lord prayer not only consists of uh, asking there is another another level another higher ground another higher level that is called a seeking level praise the lord hallelujah what is seeking as i already mentioned you know i don't want to continue that praise the lord seeking praise the lord it always comes with love it always comes with intimacy it always comes with a relationship it is a heart to heart communication Asking is always through the mouth, but the seeking is always comes through the heart. Praise the Lord. Asking is only through the mouth, but at the same time, seeking is always comes through the heart. And so if it is so, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In this morning time, when you seek his presence, when you, when you seek his hallelujah, glory, the Bible says you shall find even in this morning time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. The Bible says, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those who those who whose heart are committed to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the eyes of the Lord oh, range throughout the earth to strengthen to those whose heart are fully committed to him. This morning time, let me ask you, praise the Lord, our hearts are fully committed to him. Praise the Lord. We know Bible. We know, hallelujah. Uh, we studied Sunday school, hallelujah. We are hearing, hallelujah, every day, so one or another, uh, you know, messages. Uh, we are experiencing the fellowship of God. We are uh, enjoying the worship of God. But at the same time, this morning time, let me ask you as a pastor of this church, uh, are you hundred percent seeking him completely, wholeheartedly? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you seek him, hallelujah, wholeheartedly, praise the Lord, you shall find him. Praise the Lord. When you seek him, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Praise the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. As I already mentioned all these uh, months, uh, you know, chapter 5 to 7, basically, it is, a, it is a kingdom principle. You know, talks about Matthew chapter 5 to 7, it talks about the kingdom principle. Praise the Lord. How can a, a man or a woman uh, live on the ki you know, kingdom? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the kingdom man, the kingdom citizen, he shall always seek his heart. Praise the Lord. Whose heart? The heart of God. Praise the Lord. This morning time, the main purpose of an individual, those who are seated here, the main purpose is to seek his heart. Praise the Lord. As I already mentioned in the last week, praise the Lord. You know, Moses, hallelujah. The difference between the Moses and the Israel, praise the Lord. What is the difference between Moses and Israel? So Bible says he made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. That means uh, people of Israel only see the action of God. But at the same time, Moses see the heart of God. This morning time, the question is whether you want to see the action of God or you want to see the heart of God. Even though last week I mentioned this, you know, there are people over here, Spirit of God is speaking to you this morning in a very tangible way. You want to see the action of God or at work or you want to see the heart of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you see the heart of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible, you know, as I already mentioned, praise the Lord. We yield, hallelujah, our will in the presence of God. We surrender our will in the presence of God. And we will, hallelujah, we will yield in his presence. And we will, we will pray, Lord, let your will be done in our personal life. Because his will is always perfect. His will is always good. And his will is always acceptable. Praise the Lord. And now, this morning time, with a few minutes, let me get into the third aspect of uh, the prayer life. That is nothing else. The Bible says, knock and it shall be opened to you. Knock, it shall be opened to you. Somebody can... Loudly say, knock, it shall be opened to you. Knock. Praise the Lord. Why knock? The question here, why knock? The simple answer is, the door is closed. Are you with me? Why knock? Because... The door before you is closed at this moment. You are asking for a long time. You are seeking his presence for all these years. But still you are knocking in his presence. Still there are. Praise you made 
in his presence has not been answered. Praise the Lord. My number one point, probably I will say, there is a power of darkness holding off our answers of our prayers. This morning time, Pastor Tim Dorstar mentioned about uh, the powers of darkness. You know, there is a powers of darkness, the kingdom of darkness. That is very evident, that is very real in the face of the earth. Even if some of your prayer answers has been already been answered, even in the heaven, heavenly realm, those answers have been hindered in the spiritual realm. You know, very good example we know, book of Daniel, I think chapter 19, when Daniel was praying for the deliverance of Israel, for 21 days, even if his, and his, his prayers were answered, but the prince of the Porsche were hindered the prayer of Daniel for 21 days. Hallelujah. This morning, me and you, we all will pray. You know, we all know there are prayers, our simple prayers has been hindered somehow. This morning we might ask a lot of questions, why Lord? Why Lord? Even Paul asked many times. You know, Paul prayed many times. Book of Colossians chapter 4, verse number 3, even Paul prayed, pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of God. So that means the door is op it already closed, the ministry door. Then again, in Romans chapter 1, verse number 10, Paul mentioned in my prayers at all times, and I pray that now at, at last by God's will, the way we may be open for me to come to you. That means Paul wanted to go to Rome, but the door was closed. He was not able to go. So now he's praying so that the door may be opened. Praise the Lord. The spiritual forces sometimes might close the doors before you. Sometimes we, we might think our boss or our employer or our you know, colleagues, they are the ones who close the door, the promotions. But let me tell you, the Bible says, we don't have a struggle, we don't have a fight against flesh and blood. Rather, we have a fight against the principalities, authorities, and the powers, and the spiritual forces of the dark world, which is trying to hinder the answers of our prayer. Hallelujah. Let me, let me tell you one example this morning. You know, in AD 90 or 95, at the age of 95 probably, or 90, John the Apostle, he was the senior pastor of uh, Ephesus Church. You know, now the, the king Domitian, he banished him into the island of Patmos. We know the reason because the first he put him into the, the, uh, the boy, you know, oil, you know, boiling oil, but nothing happened. Now he banished him into the Patmos Island. The story of Patmos, no one has come back yet. Because this is an island. It is a very separate island in the Asia Minor. Only when you landed in, the, you know, in, the, in this island, you can see only surrounded by the sea, ocean, and the rolling waves. Probably scattered around the, 
the skeleton or the bones of the human beings or the you know other animals also probably you might see some wild animals and the beast and not only that if you look up you will see the vultures trying to attack you any time praise the lord this is the condition when the apostle paul landed in the patmos island you know emperor domitian wants to kill him couldn't do it but the domitian knows his story will end in island patmos but the bible says on the law the day of the lord the bible says the john the apostle was in the spirit hallelujah on the day of the lord the apostle john was in the spirit and when it comes into book of revelation chapter 4 verse number 1 says as i looked i saw a door open in heaven oh hallelujah and the same voice i heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast the voice said come up here i will show you what must happen after this oh hallelujah even the domitian right of him domitian thought his life is going to end up in island patmos but god has a another plan in his life even though at the age of 95 he was alone he was weak in his body no one is there to help him no one is there to give him any food hallelujah but at the same time on the day of the lord he was in the spirit he was the spirit in the spirit and he began to see the vision hallelujah the bible says the heaven began to open this morning time let me tell you when every doors were closed before you when, when every doors were closed before you there is a door which is going to open for you how many of you believe in this morning time how many of you can experience the presence of god in this place ura ba 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 when every door is closed before you oh there is a door which is open for you the heaven door the whole the door which is opened for him hallelujah praise the lord not only that this 90 95 year old old man began to see the vision began to see the oh hallelujah eternal vision began to see the the things which is going to happen oh during the time of after the time of rapture oh hallelujah hallelujah think about if bible completed without the book of revelation hallelujah but there is a man even though he went through the valley of the deepest valley of shadow of death uh, praise the lord god never left him alone in the presence of that deepest valley god showed him the eternal vision the eternal vision the eternal vision in this body time uh, the spirit of god uh, is pouring out uh, some eternal vision to some of you going through the valley of uh, the deepest valley of the shadow of death even in this morning hallelujah 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 praise the lord hallelujah the bible says i will go before you i will break every iron bars i will hallelujah i will i will i will break every hallelujah brown's gate before you oh raba shamthara baba this morning time let me tell you this morning time oh hallelujah the spiritual forces is trying to hinder your oh promotion trying to hinder your future trying to hinder your education trying to hinder your ministry trying to hinder your anointing but let me tell you the spirit of god will open a new door for your life ura ba shamthara baba ribathara dara vaidara dara baushyam thara baba aura ba shothori amthara baba i will level up all the mountains before you ora ba shothori amthara baba we glorify your name hallelujah thank you jesus 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a mountains before you this morning. As you look before, hallelujah. As you look in front of you, there is a mountain. When you look, hallelujah, there is a mountain before you. You cannot oh, climb. You cannot move forward. But the, the Bible says, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will level up every mountains for you. I will level up every mountain for you. There's a prophetical word I release even in this morning time. I will level up every mountain before you. And I will make every crooked path straight. I will break every iron bolt. I will break every bronze gate. I will, be, I will stand before you. I will go before you. The spirit of the Lord says to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I already mentioned, spiritual forces trying to hinder your answers of your prayers. The number two, not only spiritual forces, as I was seated here, Spirit of God, while worship was going on, Spirit of God was telling me the second point that not only spiritual forces, sometimes because of our irresponsibilities in our life, there are those were closed before us. God given us a time to pray, time to intercede, time to fast, time to experience the presence, but we take it lightly. We take it grand. Result now, we are struggling. We are facing a lot of hindrance before us. But there's a good news this morning. God never leaves you, nor forsake you. The significance of the church comes here. Now, the Holy Spirit knows you cannot do it alone. And now, God will give you a handful of people who can intercede for you, who can pray for you. I want to read that passage Luke chapter 11, verse number 5. Jesus said to them, suppose you have a friend. Luke chapter 11, verse number 5. On. Suppose you have a friend. You go to him at midnight and say, friend, let me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me. I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me. The door is locked. And my children and I am in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship. Yet, because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. Praise the Lord. I don't have a time to explain five points very quickly. The number one. Hindrance of a prayer, number one. The friend came on the midnight, middle of the night. In the first century, those days, usually people, after six o'clock, they won't walk, they won't travel. But this man came on the wrong time middle of the night but still here a friend who is ready to accept this friend who was coming on the middle of the night no time to explain number two he was knocking on behalf of this friend you know this friend middle of the night came with a Hunger. 
no explanation. This man came with the middle of the hung, in the night with a hunger. But here comes a friend who's ready to take the responsibility of this friend. And going into another friend who has a bread. Knocking at, at his door in the middle of the night. That is called the church. That is called the church. That is called the fellowship of church. Praise the Lord. As I always say, church is not for the perfect people. Church is a hospital. People, those who are injured, people, those who are weak, people, those who are hungry, people, those who have nothing to eat, they come and they knock at our doors. Don't take the attitude of Pharisees. Rather, open your doors. Receive them. Because they, they need the food. They need the food. Even though it is the middle of the night, they need the food. You have a responsibility, church. You have to stay on behalf of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not only that, you know, I'm finishing. One minute. That friend, even though he has a bread, you know, he has a bread, but that friend was trying to avoid him. Keeping, making excuses. You know, I cannot blame him because now it's the middle of the night. But still, this friend was persisting. 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 This friend was keep on persisting. Hallelujah. 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 Finally, that another friend opened the door because that friend has food. That is the Bethlehem. Up at the Favana, the house of bread, lot of bread. Now, when the door was opened, he gave not only three bread, the Bible says he gave. As much as food he needed. Oh, that is the provision of God, brothers and sisters. That is the provision of God. You asked only three loaves of bread, but this morning time, when he opens the door, when he opens the door, he will give you as much as you needed. How many of you are, how many of you heard this word in this morning time? You need only three bread, but he is the one. When he opens the door, he can give you as much as you need. Shall we all stand up in the presence of God? Uraba shata da 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 ba udi amta da ba ba. La ba ri amta da 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 ba ida da da da. Ri ba da da ba ushi amta da da da. Vashiti, please quickly come forward. Ro do ro ba ushi amta ri amta da ba ba. Uri bi amta da 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 ba ida da ba ba. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning time, you might feel the doors are closed before you. Hallelujah. The spiritual forces trying to close doors before you. Hallelujah. But this morning time, there's a God. There's a God. He knows your situation. He knows, he understands you. He understands you. He is there to provide. He can give you as much as you need. He can give you as much as you need. This morning time before you leave from this place, get it as much as you need. Hallelujah. Get it as much as you need. He is there to 